Hello, I'm Marek Polczak from company VR Engineers. I am one of the co-founders and our company specializes in development and delivery of a high-end visualization device, in our case, virtual reality headset. So after some time, after some prototyping and development, uh, we built first prototypes. We ship them to first paying customers and gather the feedback. And after about another year of improvements and iterations, uh, we released our latest model, which is called Extel, uh, which means crystal, <laughs> uh, because a lot of our customers uh, said this has cl crystal clear image. This is professional grade VR headset. It delivers very high resolution, 2.5K per each eye. Uh, it's driven by two VR OLED screens uh, and it connects to the PC through these two cables. One is USB, one is the display port. Uh, and uh, it runs basically with, with everything. It's compatible with Unity, Unreal. You can use it with any kind of Steam VR content. So what's different about our headset and our approach is that we are trying to uh, deliver, uh, I would say, complex immersion because uh, there are multiple things that you need to combine uh, to deliver such experience. And two of those things are very precise picture uh, with wide field of view. And it's actually not that hard to build a headset which has very wide field of view, but then you have a lot of problems with distortion on the edges, with color precision uh, in the extremes, and uh, you get the feeling that the picture is basically floating, it's not stable. It feels like you are on the ship when you move, when you rotate. Uh, same applies for high resolution. It's not that hard to buy a very dense uh, display, uh, which has a lot of, lot of pixels, uh, but then your field of view is very limited, is very narrow. And what we are trying to do, and we succeeded with Excel, is combining those two. So we are able to deliver a very clear picture so, for example, if you are using the headset for pilot training, it allows you to read the dashboard, fly accordingly to instruments, but it still provides you overview of the whole situation thanks to wide field of view. We are partnering with a lot of technological companies worldwide. What you see down here, uh, these two are cameras, these are infrared uh, LEDs and this whole device is the latest version of Leap Motion hand tracking, uh, which is not supposed to be uh, sold on the open market, it's for companies like us to embed it. And Xtal is the first headset which fully embedded Leap Motion technology for the hand tracking. So that's one of our uh, significant partner. Another one will be NVIDIA. We work a lot on uh, improving drivers, connecting the headset, making it compatible and uh, like improving the performance. Because for this amount of resolution, you really need to achieve uh, very optimized algorithms to deliver the speed. Uh, and if you are not able to calculate, then uh, there are a lot of algorithms like time warp, uh, etc., which are basically providing the same feeling as the picture is being rendered at the time, even though it's not. In the upcoming months, uh, there will be improvements in our SDK, uh, incidentally connected with the foveated rendering, with eye tracking functions, uh, and of course with uh, mixed reality capabilities because what we want to do together with our front-facing camera module is to develop SDK, which will allow you, for example, to uh, put a sticker of a barcode around any kind of physical object, and our algorithms will detect that barcode and basically place that physical space inside the VR. Uh, and that will allow you to combine and mix 
those, uh, those environments. Uh, so there is a lot ongoing on the software side. Uh, on the hardware side, uh, because the Xtel already has a lot of like preparations to extensions, uh, even users who bought Xtel early this year are able to run this eye tracking or are able to integrate the add-on uh, of uh, front-facing cameras. Uh, so now we are just turning on all the functionalities that has been prepared up front. With the augmented reality, but I would only say mixed reality, uh, we started because of the direct need of our existing clients. Uh, they have use cases where they need to interact with few physical objects, but they need to grab them precisely or they need to even learn uh, muscle memory, how to operate different knobs, different uh, sliders, etc. Like physical controllers. And for that you really need a see-through. So that's why we started with the development and that's where, where we are heading with the AR module. So currently we are experimenting with a few things. One is a mixed reality module. So basically front-facing cameras, which you can embed it here to the front of the Excel, and that delivers you, again, very wide field of view of uh, see-through capabilities. So you are able to switch between virtual space and the real space. Uh, with that, as far as I'm aware, uh, our module is again the only one that can deliver you wide field of view. So basically covering the whole 180 degrees that we, that we have with the headset. So that's one of the things. Another thing is, which is crucial and very important for our business is optical system. Xtal headset uses non-Fresnel lenses. I don't know if it will be visible, but those lenses are very unique. They are aspherical. Uh, they are not built out of standard plastic uh, material uh, and uh, they provide mm, with our algorithms undistorted image, which is crucial for the immersion. Uh, but they have some pros and they have some cons as every technology. So what we are trying to develop in cooperation with different partners are uh, next generation optical systems. So one of those optical systems is focused on super wide field of view. Uh, even though it's only experimental and we don't know if it will work properly, uh, we are testing it and improving and that system should be able to cover more than 200 degrees field of view. So basically whole area that people can see. Uh, another approach is with current lenses and continuous improvements. So making them even sharper, uh, enhancing the field of view. But with current technology, there are limitations of the distance between the display and the lens. And that's what makes uh, the headset a little bit bigger. And the third part uh, is especially uh, about making headset more convenient, smaller and compact. And so this approach uh, is trying to find a solution where you are able to literally have a display almost next to the, to the lens, therefore making the headset super compact and convenient. And the way how I hope it will look in the future is a visor from X-Men. So very slick, thin and super convenient to wear. Once uh, there will be improvements in our SDK, uh, incidentally connected with the foveated rendering, with eye tracking functions uh, and of course with uh, mixed reality capabilities because what we want to do together with our front-facing camera module is to develop SDK, which will allow you, for example, to uh, put a sticker of a barcode around any kind of physical object. 
and our algorithms will detect that barcode and basically place that physical space inside the VR. Uh, and that will allow you to combine and mix those, uh, those environments. Uh, so there is a lot ongoing on the software side. Uh, on the hardware side, uh, because the Xtel already has a lot of like preparations to extensions, uh, even users who bought Xtel early this year are able to run this eye tracking or are able to integrate the add-on uh, of uh, front-facing cameras. Uh, so now we are just turning on all the functionalities that has been prepared up front. Visit our website vrgeneers.com and keep all our updates on VR Focus. Bye.